Hello there and welcome to the October 2020 paper here we're looking at question 2. So given that Z1 equals 2 plus 3i, Z1, Z2 modulus equals 39 root 2 and the argument for Z1, Z2 is pi by 4, write down Z1 in the form R cos theta plus I sine theta, so modulus argument form. So the first thing we need to do is work out its R value and for 2 plus 3i it's just going to be 2 squared plus 3 squared which is going to be the square root of 13. Now for the argument, I'd like to draw myself a little diagram. It's going to go 2 across, 3 up. So it's going to be this angle here. So therefore theta is going to equal, we've gone 3 up, 2 across, so that's going to be tan inverse 3 over 2. And if I grab my calculator now, put it, into, put it in um, radians mode first, tan inverse 3 over 2, is 0 0.9828, 0.9828, or you might have had 0 0.983. So therefore, Z1 is going to equal root 13 multiplied by cos 0 0.983 plus I sine 0 0.983. And there we are, that's the answer for Z1. Let's now move on to part B. So I'll just record what Z1 was. That would be root 13 bracket cos 0 0.983 plus I sine 0 0.983. Okay, so let's move on. So given the exact value of R, give the exact value of R, and give the value of theta in four. Do oh, so this this information here was uh, related to the second part. So the first part there. So it's 0 0.9828. Okay, so that's the answer to A. Moving on now to B. Give find Z two, giving your answer in the form a plus b i, where a and b are integers. Okay, so. Um, the rule for modulus is, is that to work out a two, two, uh, two um, complex numbers multiplying together, to work out the modulus of that, you can multiply the moduluses separately. So there's a little rule that says this, and um, the modulus of Z1, Z2 is 39 root 2. So therefore Z1, um, that had a modulus of root 13, and then this will be multiplied by the modulus of z2. So we don't know what that is yet. So if I divide the uh, root 13 onto the other side, if I do that on the calculator now, 39 root 2 divided by root 13, that's going to give me 3 root 26. So that's the modulus of z2. So that's an important piece of information. Now I can move on to... The argument, now the rule for the argument is if I've got the argument of Z1, Z2, the way I can calculate that is just by adding the two arguments instead. So arg Z1 plus arg Z2. I don't know what the argument of Z2 is, but I know what the argument of uh, Z1, Z2 is. That's pi by 4, and this is going to equal 0.9828. I'll leave that as exact on my calculator, plus arg z2. So I'll subtract the 0 0.9828 onto the other side, or I'll go back up to that tan calculation and do pi by 4 minus answer. And that will give me um, arg of z2 equals minus 0.197. What I think I'll do now is I'll store this as A in my calculator. So I'm going to press the STO button and then I'm going to press A to store it exactly in my calculator. So I now know that um, my complex number Z2 is going to be written as 3 root 26 times by cos of minus 0.197 plus i sine minus 0 0.197. So 
So now what I'll do is I'll expand the brackets. So I'm going to do 3 root 26 times cos of the value a. So 3 root 26 times cos of a. And that gives me 15 exactly. You might not get 15 exactly if you haven't used uh, the exact value of um, minus 0 0.197 because it is a decimal that carries on and on and on. You try and use the exact value of that if you can and then expand the 3 root 26 with uh, sine, and you'll get minus 3. So it's 15 minus 3i, where a is equal to 15, and b is equal to minus 3. And there we are. That's the answer for this question here. That's the answer for b. Uh, eight marks in total for that question. Let's now move on to question 3.